What's up, family? As y'all come in, let me know if you can hear me, you can see me okay. Give me a thumbs up. I'm going to wait for a couple of people to join on. And make sure that my that technology is working correctly. I'll wait on you. So come on in the room. I'm hoping that I can see your comments and seeing if I can make that happen real quick. I'm hoping, I'm assuming the comments will come up on the side. I haven't done this in a while. So I hope everybody is having a great day and that you are doing well. Happy Monday. If y'all hear any noise in the background, that's my dog. I don't know if you can see him. He just laid down. Um, he loves to lay by the window this time of day. <laughs> um, so happy Monday to everybody. Um, I pray that you all are doing well. Um, I hope that you um, are in good spirits in the midst of all of this craziness that is happening in our world. Um, I'm not going to be before y'all long. Listen, if you don't know who I am, first of all, let me introduce myself. If you don't know who I am, I'm Marielle. Um, I am the worship leader at the faith community. And tonight I am really excited because a lot of people don't know this is actually, this is one of my favorite things to do. I'm very passionate about teaching and encouraging people. Um, and so the fact that I get to do this when typically I'm singing or in most ministry spaces, I'm behind the scenes typically. Uh, so this is a treat for me. So I hope it's a treat for you too. Um, so before I get started, could you guys do me a favor as you're coming on? If you could go ahead and share, um, share this stream. Um, and then do me a favor. Also, go ahead and just go ahead and click that you want to turn on your notifications. So every time that the faith community is live, um, you will be informed by Facebook. So go ahead and let go ahead and just hit that button, hit the share button. And then also um, make sure you subscribe and make sure that you turn on that little bell so you can get the notifications. All right. All right. So listen, last week. <laughs> thanks, Christian. Last week, um, our uh, Pastor Christian Smith, who is on right now, uh, he talked about something that was really awesome. It sounded really simple, but I think a lot of us don't do it enough. And that was resting. Um, and I really need to hear that. And something that he said last week was uh, in the Jewish faith that they really are intentional about preparing for the Sabbath, which is resting. Uh, and so as I was really kind of thinking about praying about what do I really need to talk about tonight, I really wanted to give us a next steps um, that Christian laid the, the groundwork for it last week. So last week, again, he talked about rest. And so tonight, I really just kind of want to talk about some more R words, right? <laughs> which is refocus and re-energize. If you're anything like me, before the pandemic hit, your life was this. Go, go, go. Busy, busy, busy. Um, go here, go there, do this, do that. And then in two weeks, our lives have completely changed. Right. We put all of our energy, all of our time, all of our resources into other people, other things, other places. And now is a moment and a time that we have to actually pause because either those things are stopping for right now. They're halted right now. Um, or we, we don't have any contacts so or we're practicing social distancing, which I hope you are. Um, and so now it's caused this, okay, so what am I supposed to do now? And I really feel like it is really making a lot of us revisit some things that we've maybe put on the back burner. I know I can attest before the pandemic hit, there were people, places, and things I was putting time, energy, even money and resources into that really were not yielding any type of result for me. They weren't adding any type of value. And now because I've had a moment to rest, like Christian told us last week, it's really made me refocus and re-energize. And there have been things that I know God has put on the inside of me. And I know that God has put on the inside of you that we have really kind of neglected. We have allowed life to just kind of get in the way. Um, some of us unintentionally, and if I'm honest, some of us intentionally because of fear. We have not wanted to touch that thing. We have not wanted to engage that thing that we know we really could be doing because there is that what if possibility. And so I really feel like tonight I want to encourage you that rest helps you to clear your mind. 
Rest helps you to refocus and it helps you to re-energize. Now, if you're like me, you always have questions. You're a big question person. So maybe you're asking me, well, Mariel, that sounds great and wonderful, but how am I supposed to refocus and how can I re-energize? So I'm really glad you asked that question. I'm about to be like a straight Baptist preacher and give you three points on how you can do that. So number one is pray. I know that sounds super simple. And I know that's like kind of churchy response, but it's true. Too often we make decisions that we never consult God about. And most times we never ask God or call on God about anything until we're in trouble. But what would happen if we actually consulted God on decisions before we actually moved on it? What if we actually took the moment and took the time just to consult God on clarity of vision, on clarity of discernment. That's nothing but a big fancy word for God. What's the, what is, what's right and what's wrong that I have a clear perspective on that. And too often we leave God completely out. So it really becomes the argument of uh, prevention versus intervention. Right. If I can talk to God on the front end, it'll keep me out of stuff on the back end that he won't have to come and and come get me out of because I talk to him on the front end. So I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be, as opposed to God having to meet me in the middle because I never consulted God about it. So to refocus and re-energize, now you need to ask yourself, where should I be giving my attention to? What needs what is priority for me right now? For some of you, it may be filling out that application to go back to school. Maybe it's writing a book. Maybe it's starting the business. Maybe it's just cleaning out the closet. I don't know. (laughs) But whatever that thing is, whatever you do, have you consulted about it? Have you consulted God about it? So to get re-energized, to get refocused, the first thing that I really have to do is I have to pray. I got to ask God because I need to ask him for vision and I need to ask God for discernment. Vision that I have clarity on where I'm supposed to go, discernment on what's right, what's wrong, who's right, who's wrong, right? So that's the first thing. Second thing is I have to be intentional about a plan. I have to be intentional about a plan. I can't just randomly uh, just think, okay, God, cool. So Christian just said for him is writing a book. Okay, great. God, I'm going to need to write a book. And I know you said write a book. And then that's it. No, there's a plan that goes into that. You got a lot of time. Most of us have a lot of time on our hands. We have a little bit more free time on our hands than we normally would have. And even though there are a lot of things that are close to us, Al Gore's Internet is still available. It's still accessible to you. Do your homework. Do your research. Come up with a game plan. Write it down. So whatever that thing is for you, write it down. If it's you want to lose weight. Praise God. I'm talking to myself. You want to lose weight. What's the game plan? It's not enough for me to say, okay, great. Yeah, I want to lose 20 pounds. Okay, well, how am I, how am I going to go about that? How am I going to actually institute a plan? What, what's, what's the goal? How, how am I going to get there? All right. So you have to be very intentional. That's why I love what Christian said last week about rest. They were intentional about it. And because of they because they were intentional about it, they got better results because they were intentional about resting. They got better results. So now I can't just be intentional in my rest. I got to be intentional in my plan. I have to figure out what am I going to do? How am I going to do it? Period. End discussion. So we're going to refocus, re-energize. The first thing we got to do, we got to pray. Right. Pray for discernment. And we got to pray for vision. Second thing is we have to be intentional about a plan, right? Thirdly, and the biggest one is you've got to have some discipline. Listen, I get it. You you prayed about it. You got the direction now. Okay, you got a plan. Now I have to have discipline in order to execute the plan. And too many times we're, we don't have that. The plan is just sitting over there collecting dust and we have not actually practiced the discipline that it takes in order to make that thing happen. So listen, you have got to be intentional yet again. So let's say you're like, okay, we're going to start the business. We're going to write the book. You can't wallow in bed all day. You got to get up. You got to get up and practice the discipline of I'm going to write a chapter. I'm going to write one page every day until I have a whole chapter. 
whatever that thing is for you. But you have got to exercise some type of discipline. Some of y'all been in the same clothes since the COVID-19 pandemic has happened. It's time to get out of them clothes, get in the shower, go wash your tail and get to work. And whatever that thing is for you, that same energy, that same uh, vigor that you put into making other people's dreams happen, making to supporting other people. Now it's time to focus on you. You've gotten the rest, but now it's time to refocus and reshift and re-energize. So if you're going to do that, I'm going to just follow up. Number one, you got to pray about it. Consult God always. Number two. You got to be intentional about a plan. Number three, you've got to have discipline to make that thing happen, whatever it is for you. And I get it. Right now, we're living in scary times. We don't know what's about to happen. But what I do know is that there is a future. We won't always be here. So a big part of you being able to refocus and re-energize is you got to see past the now. You got to see past where we are right now because we won't be here always. That you have got a game plan that you have you have made up in your mind. I know exactly where I'm supposed to go. I always like to tell people, um, people say I have a dream or vision. What's the difference for me? It's simply this. A dream is usually the end goal. A vision is the steps it's going to take to get to the end goal. The vision is a lot more detailed than the dream ever is. The dream shows you what the end is going to be, but the vision gives you the steps to get there. And oftentimes we either too scared or we have chosen to not put the same energy into ourselves and into what God has for us and what he put into us. Then that we have given to other people or other organizations or other things. There's a there is a very popular saying that says. The richest place in the world is the graveyard. And I don't ever want to meet my creator in whatever way that is. I don't want to meet my creator on full because I was too scared. I was not disciplined enough. I did not take the time that it took in order to really apply myself and to do everything that he put in me, that God put in me. So I really hope that last week you really heard Christian when he told you that you needed to rest because you're not going to be able to see any of this if your mind is cluttered. Until you get actual rest, rest really helps you with your creativity. And I really want to say something. Rest is not just taking a nap. Though, Christian, I really do hope that you take that nap at some point. Like, I hope it happens this week if it has not already happened. Um, That can be a part of it. But resting is simply being able to clear your mind. So maybe that's reading a good book. Maybe that's Netflix and maybe that's Netflix and and chilling for some of y'all. I don't know. But whatever that is, that can be rest. It's just to give your brain a break. Just take a moment and just pause. So I hope that you all really actually heard what he said last week and really try to institute that and really try to have some rest. So then that way you are able to re-energize. You're able to refocus. And so because I like to always keep re-emphasizing what I just said, the three ways you're going to do that is you've got to pray about it. Be intentional with your plan. And you've got to have the discipline to make it happen. Listen, that's all the word I got for y'all tonight. Um, I really pray that um, as you all really go to God about what's the next step and what you should do um, that you hear from him clearly and that you get clear direction um, on what you need to do, that you that you have discernment on who's the right person to go to or who is the right person to talk to or who's not the right person to go to, who's not the right person to talk to. Um, So that's really my hope for you. Um, Listen, our team, we have some incredible people coming your way this week with different, with all kinds of things. We're going to pray. We are going to um, really encourage you for your mental health because I know that that's big Um, and just so many other things just to really kind of help you get through this pandemic. Please know we're in this thing together. You're not alone. We love you at the faith community. We are here for you. Um, I think I can speak on behalf of Christian and say that like we 
unequivocally love you guys. We unequivocally are praying for you um, and we want you to know that we're here for you. Um, if you need anything, of course, we are a community, so feel free to reach out. Um, do me a favor. If you haven't already, turn on your notifications so every time we're live, you'll know it. Um, you won't miss a thing. You won't miss a beat. Um, and I know that we have some awesome, awesome, awesome content coming your way. Um, and so I pray that this was a blessing to you. This was such a blessing to me because again, I rarely get to talk, um, in most ministry spaces. Um, and so I am excited. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm trying to read y'all's comments right now because my, it did not, <laughs> I, y'all, they going back and forth. That's hilarious. Um, but I pray that you all have an incredible productive week. Uh, and that you will refocus, you will reshift, you will re-energize. And that I promise you, the only way you can do that is you get some rest and just kind of clear your mind. Um, I'm praying for you. We're praying for you. We love you guys. Um, I hope that y'all have an awesome week. And we will see y'all tomorrow, same time, same channel as we go before God in prayer. We love you guys. Have a great day and have a great week.